In this video, we're gonna show you how to pair an Opticon 2006 Bluetooth barcode scanner with an iPhone. Now the Opticon 2006 is very, very similar to the 2002, so if you're familiar with that, it should look very similar. It's about the size of a nine volt battery. There's two buttons. The first is the scan button that will operate the laser. The second is the function button that will turn your scanner on and off. Now, if you have not paired this with your uh, phone previously, you're gonna wanna reset the scanner first and you can do that by pressing and holding the small function button. It's actually gonna turn the radio on so that you can see the blue light flashing. Go ahead and release the function button and then press and hold it again. We're gonna wait till it turns off and then continue holding it. So you just heard the beep, that means it turned off. We're gonna continue holding this for another probably 10 to 15 seconds until we hear another series of beeps and that indicates that the scanner has been reset to factory settings. Okay, so after you hear a series of beeps that indicates that it's been reset, you really don't have to reset these scanners. They're pretty functional and durable. But if you do wanna do that, it's never a bad idea. Step two is simply walk down through here. So step one, we re reset the device. Step two is turn on keyboard mode. So we're gonna simply scan this barcode. And step three is we're gonna make this discoverable. So you can press and hold that small function button again for about three to five seconds. Once it starts flashing blue, that means it's ready to be paired. So go ahead and go to your settings in iPhone, go to Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is on and then wait a couple seconds and the Opticon should show up there. So you can see OPN 2006, go ahead and tap on that. And you usually don't need to input a code, it should be smart enough just to pair with the phone. If you do need a code, it is on this sheet as well, but for the most part, you can ignore this half of the sheet. So that's it. Step five is we're gonna enable the keyboard toggle. This is a nice feature on iPhones. So this is nice. So now if we go in, let's say we just go into Google and we wanna scan a book into it. Um, by default, the keyboard is hidden. You can see it down there. If we press this small function button, it'll actually let the keyboard pop up, which is really nice. So you can go back and forth between typing in into your texts or looking up something online in between a scouting session. It's very easy to toggle that. You can just leave it down out of the way. So if we scan, it's simply gonna look up the barcode. You can find it online, or of course you can pair it with a scouting app to look up books a lot faster. And you did hear the beep, so there is the option down here to turn the beep off. That will let you scout a bit more covertly. And then you can pair this with a true scouting app and simply scan books as fast as you can. And that data will show up in the app for you. So that's how to pair an Opticon 2006. Real quick, when you're done using it for the day, don't simply turn your Bluetooth off as that will leave the battery on for a while in the Opticon and can drain that. So you wanna press and hold the function button, that little button for about five seconds. Once it beeps like that, you're good. Now the scanner will still function. These never actually turn off, but it won't have its Bluetooth radio on. It won't be sucking battery life. So that's how to unpair it. When you're ready to pair it back up, again, press and hold that function button for a couple seconds. Now it's ready, go back to Bluetooth and it will already have this as a known device. Simply tap on the OPN 2006, wait for the beep, and you're good to go. So always a good idea to keep this instruction sheet with you, bring a copy, uh, leave it in your purse, your wallet, bring it in your car, wherever you're gonna need it, but you shouldn't need it, you should be able to just pair it back up. And that's how to use the Opticon 2006.